This course will give you an in-depth overview of the global sports industry. It covers key business functions such as marketing, sales, data analytics, and more. So what a sports organization can often do is they want to speak to the consumer, and again, they want to speak to this consumer via their brand. The Houston Texans are an excellent example of an organization who represents a particular type of brand in order to communicate with a particular consumer. So the Houston Texans are competing with another team in Texas, which is the Dallas Cowboys. And if you know anything about the Dallas Cowboys, they're often known as America's team. So when the Texans were launched, they had a very interesting marketing campaign. They said the Dallas Cowboys, if you're going to be America's team, well, we're going to be Texas's team. So they utilize their brand to speak to this whole aspect of being Texas's team in order to get Get consumers who are specifically from Texas and who really value Texas and their own Texas values. Measuring impressions is probably one of the most exciting um, uh, new data studies that I think arenas are doing. There's so much uh, constantly growing and changing with that. So one most obvious is scans, so we know exactly how many people come into the arena. So if it's something big like the center jumbotron, we'll just count scans, right? Chances are everyone that entered the arena saw the Jumbotron. Where if we're looking at an LED light on the suite level, then we're only looking at specific suite buyers or specific suite scans. A lot of people are having sensors on the ground so they can feel how hard people, if they're getting really excited and measure impressions that way. Um, it's, it's getting very interesting. Wearable devices have become a valuable tool for sports organizations and for athletes. And this is really important because athletes often are looking to succeed at the highest level and particularly elite athletes. So instead of just being used in an evaluative sense, we're allowing wearables now to be employed as coaching devices. It also explores many of the exciting change forces currently shaping the global sports industry, like technology and innovation, eSports and social entrepreneurship. With all of the customer data that we have nowadays, we can really measure um, specific things about our sales and we can point to this demographic bought more tickets this year. And so it can help us to develop when we should be doing certain promotions. And if we know a little bit more about those groups too in terms of their media consumption, we can decide, okay, this one we need to be promoting on social media. This probably needs to be more of a traditional media buy. And so all of this type of data is helping to reshape the sport industry and, and make teams and organizations much smarter about the way that they are marketing to the different groups to ensure that you know that they're hitting people when they want to buy and where they're going to see these messages. What tells me it's a sport? Is it training? Is it practice? Is it competition? You get to this question very quickly when you start to talk about esports. Are these people athletes? Because of the power and excitement that surrounds sports they have the opportunity to make social change in ways that no other organization can. This is something that we don't see in any other arena, the opportunity to cultivate these kinds of values. You will get to hear from our world-class faculty and industry leaders. I didn't know there were so many career options in sports. I thought of the athletes, maybe the coaches. I didn't know there were data analysts and marketers and sales folks. Learning the industry a little bit, I, I realized there's a lot of opportunity. 